Hello from the Clouds Guru. In this video, I will show you how to install AWS Kali Linux in the AWS public subnet, add internet connectivity and SSH to Kali Linux from Bastion host, then install Nmap. And lastly, scan selected subnets in AWS VPC. Step 1. Inspect AWS VPC before launching Kali Linux EC2 instance. Test VPC with CEDA block 10.0.0.0 slash 16, and flow logs enabled. We will use two subnets. The public subnet in AZA with CEDA block allocated 10.0.0.0 slash 27, and private subnet in same AZA with CEDA block located 10.0.0.32 slash 27. Let's check the public subnet details. Root table distributes local VPC traffic and default root with internet getaway as a target. Network access list allows all inbound and outbound traffic. This means all traffic is allowed at the subnet level. Next, check the private subnet detail. Flow logs enabled. Root table distributes local VPC traffic. Network access list allows all inbound and outbound VPC traffic. This means local internal VPC traffic is allowed at the subnet level. Let's examine instances in the VPC. The first instance was launched in a public subnet with private IP address 10.0.0.12 and public IP address 3.8. 8.176.155. The instance type is t2.micro in running state. Security tab shows us inbound and outbound security groups rules. Inbound rules allow all ICMP and SSH traffic. Outbound rules allow any traffic. The second instance was launched in a private subnet with private IP address 10.0.0.50, and no public IP address is allocated. The instance type is t2.micro in running state. All instances use the same key pair. Check security tab, same as before. Inbound rules allow all ICMP and SSH traffic. Outbound rules allow any traffic. Even in that non-secure configuration, no one from outside can reach the instance in the private subnet. Do you know why? Step 2. Launch Kali Linux in public subnet. From the management console, Let's find AWS Marketplace, and jump to that tab. On the left under AWS Marketplace menu, click Discover Products, then search Kali. I chose Kali Linux first option from the top. From the Product Overview window, we have all the essential information including pricing information. I will launch Kali Linux in London region. The instance type will be t2.small. This will cost me 2.6 cents per hour. Press continue to subscribe button. I subscribe to this software. You can see terms and conditions. Click show details, and you can see pricing information for the listed software components. Press the continue to configuration button. Select the correct region, in our case London region. We have now all the details then click continue to launch button. Select t2.small instance type. Select the correct VPC ID and subnet ID. Oh, I am not sure which is correct, let's check it. VPC ID's last two digits are 71. Subnet ID's last four digits are 8608. Now, I have selected correct VPC and subnet IDs. The last bit is to select public security group and key pair. Then, press the launch button. We have successfully deployed on EC2 Kali Linux instance. And now we have a few minutes before the instance is in running state. Let's check usage instruction for Kali Linux. AWS provide three links which I suggest to open and read provided documentation. The first document provides important information about Kali, like default tool credentials. For example, beef XSS, MySQL, 
OpenVAS, Metasploit Framework, and PowerShell Empire or Starkiller. The second is about penetration testing in AWS environment. It says what we can and cannot do. I suggest reading AWS customer support policy for penetration testing. We have permitted services, prohibited activities, quite a long list, isn't it? DNS hijacking via Route 53, DNS farming via Route 53, denial of service or distributed denial of service, protocol flooding. Lastly, do not do request flooding. The third document explains how to create our AWS instance. We launch EC2 instance a little bit different from the document being explained. Let's jump to AWS EC2 instance window. Refresh. And there you go, we have Kali instance in running state. Let's add name Kali to the newly launched instance, this will help us to easily identify it when we need to tune the configuration of that instance. Detail shows us that we have private IP address 10.0.0.8 and no public IP address was allocated. That is very important. No public IP address allocated, meaning we can't SSH to instance from our home computer and do upgrades. Security group allow all ICMP and SSH inbound traffic and all outbound traffic. Step 3, associate public address with Kali Linux instance. Let's jump to the networking tab. Copy to clipboard ENI ID. Then go to the network interfaces on the left navigation pane. Paste the interface ID in the search box. Tick the box with the interface belonging to Kali Linux. In menu tab select associate address. Oops, we need to create elastic IP. Select elastic IPs on the left menu section. Press the Allocate Elastic IP Address button. Region EU West 2 is correct and sticks to defaults. Press Allocate button. There you go. We have a public IP address. Now, we can associate it with the correct instance. Keep the radio button next to the instance. Select Kali Instance ID from drop-down menu. Then press Associate button. We have successfully associated public IP addresses. Double check, go to the Instance tab. In the Instance window, public IPv4 address detail is still empty. No worries, we just need to refresh the window. And there you go. Kali Linux instance has public IP address associated in it. Step 4, SSH to Kali Linux using private IPv4 addresses. The plan is to use Session Manager to connect to Bastion Host, and from Bastion Host, establish an SSH session to Kali Linux instance. Let's start. Copy to clipboard public IPv4 DNS as we need it for SSH. Go to our Bastion Host. If you don't know what is Bastion Host or how to set up infrastructure, tune into our upcoming free AWS SSH and Session Manager training. Bastion Host has public and private IPv4 addresses. Tick the box next to Bastion Host and press the Connect tab. We will use Session Manager to connect to Bastion Host. Choose the Session Manager tab and press the Connect button. We are there. Let's check the NS lookup of public IPv4 DNS, which we copied before to the clipboard. And we got the private IP address of the Kali Linux instance. Let's repeat the steps. Copy to clipboard public IPv4 DNS of Kali Linux instance. And resolve one time more DNS name to IP address. 
As we can see, root 53 returned the private address for the public Kali Linux IPv4 DNS name. The next step is to connect to Kali instance using SSH session. Hyphen I parameter is identity file. I specified the path and name of my Kali Linux private key. Kali is the username, Kali in all lowercase letters and after art sign is Kali Linux public IPv4 DNS. Submit the SSH command. Type yes that we want to continue connecting. There you go. We have successfully connected. We are using private IPv4 addresses to establish secure connection. Ping to Google DNS IPv4 address to check internet connectivity. We have response. Stop the ping by pressing Ctrl C. Type exit to terminate SSH session. We are back to the Bastion host session manager session. Step 5, SSH session using public IPv4 addresses. Let's do the same SSH exercise from my home machine. I downloaded private key to my iMac, and I need to change permission for them. Command on the screen. Let's ping to Kali Linux DNS name. We can see the public IP address of EC2 instance, and we have a response. Do you know why? Yes, security groups attached to the Kali Linux box allow all ICMP traffic. Stop ping. We are ready now to execute SSH command. We are there this time. We connect to the box via the internet. Just check if we can execute commands. Do ping to Google. Stop ping. And exit from the SSH session by typing exit. Step 6. Install Nmap on AWS Kali Linux instance. Let's connect again to our Bastion host using AWS Session Manager. Execute SSH command to Kali Linux box. Ping to google.com. We can see that DNS is working, and we have the internet connectivity. Just I want to show you that Kali Linux seats in public subnet. The public subnet has a default route with internet getaway as a target. And network access list allows any traffic in and out. Let's execute nmap command. Press Y to install nmap as the tool is not installed by default on AWS Kali Linux. Oops. Kali is unable to locate package nmap. Definitely, we have no problem with internet connectivity, as we tested it before. The problem might be because for the wrong repository, run the command as you can see on the screen. This command and all used commands from this video you can find in the description. Now we need to update the system. Packages are updating. And done. Let's try to execute the nmap command again. Type Y to install nmap on Kali Linux. And we are installing nmap. And done. Try again to execute nmap command. There you go. We successfully installed nmap. Step 7. Scan to test VPC subnets. Our targets are public and private subnets in AZA. We need IPv4 cedar blocks of those subnets. I edited nmap command in text editor. Paste it. nmap command is on the screen. Hyphen V meaning increase verbosity level. Hyphen lowercase s and uppercase s meaning scan TCP sync. Two cedar blocks represent our public and private subnets. We can see that we discover 10.0.0.2 with port 53 open. This is AWS DNS. 10.0.0.12 with port 22 open, this instance is in a public subnet. I will confirm that in few seconds. 10.0.0.50 is another instance with port 22 open, this IP address belongs to private subnets. Let's check those two IP addresses from Amazon console. 
we can see that I was correct. Both addresses are attached to test instances in public and private subnets, respectively. As you can see, Nmap is a very useful tool. Let's terminate the Kali Linux SSH session and terminate the session manager bastion host session. And there you go. In this video, you have learned some VPC basics. How to launch Kali Linux from AWS Marketplace. Associate public address with Kali Linux instance. SSH from bastion host to Kali Linux using private IPv4 addresses. SSH session from the internet to Kali Linux using public IPv4 addresses. Installed and done troubleshooting Nmap on AWS Kali Linux instance. And lastly, scan AWS subnets using Nmap. Thank you so much for joining me and I had a great time in this video. Looking forward to having you in the next to come. And I hope this has been very informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and be sure to click the notification bell for you stay updated on my next video. See you next time gurus.